My name is Paul Kantner. I'm going to graduate in August 2014 and I'm majoring in media and professional communications. I began shopping for schools long distance. I lived in New Jersey and I knew I wanted to come back to Pennsylvania. So I applied to several schools, got accepted to several schools, and I began exploring my options to utilize my Chapter 33 benefits, which is known as the GI Bill, to pay for that school. And of the several offices that I interacted with and as I began exploring uh, these schools, Pitt immediately stuck out because their Office of Veteran Services basically provided concierge service long distance to me while I was living in New Jersey, which allowed me to schedule my classes and w without worrying about the financial portion of school. So, uh, so I ended up here, I ended up here, and the Office of Veteran Services has continued to provide me with outstanding support uh, personally, professionally, because um, not only you know, are they here to support me, but at one time they were my peers. They all know what it's like to have served. Um, many of them are undergoing school themselves, are still taking classes, tons of things in common with uh, the support staff at the Office of Veteran Services. I needed to get a certificate basically proving that I deserve, that I rate the Chapter 33 benefits. I give them the letter, submit my schedule to them, and they do the rest, all of it. All of it. They, from, from front to back, uh, the money gets to the university, the money gets to you for books, and it's, it's, it requires zero effort. Uh, it's such a burden off your shoulders after that first time you see that money post and you know that this is, wow, it really works this easy because nothing's that easy. Especially those of us from the military who have dealt with, uh, you know, that archaic hierarchical organization can really appreciate the fact that this is almost like push-button service. I feel like that the College of General Studies went above and beyond to evaluate the courses that I've already taken and they gave me credit for all the work I already did. And they turned my four-year degree into a two-year degree because they recognized all the work and experience that I already had. So, you know, they, they really, and they took, they were accessible. I was able to speak to the person who evaluated my other transcripts and ask them about specific classes, which is something none of the other schools allowed me to do. The McCall Center is on the fourth floor of the Cathedral of Learning, and I sometimes bring students from other schools like Arts and Sciences. I sometimes bring them here to study, and they have no idea the places here. They've been stuck downstairs in, in that room with the high arches and the wooden furniture. Forget about all that. We come up here and we study where it's quiet. Um, we have, there's a computer lab where uh, you know, you're not fighting for seats. Um, and so it's like a peaceful place. And you know, when you come into the McCall Center, uh, they put the staff there. You pass the staff. You pass um, the math tutor, uh, Donna Rosenberg. You pass Brianna, who does all the career counseling. You pass Dr. Sherry Miller Brown's office, and she is, you know, the organizer for the, the McCall Center. Uh, you, you pass the director of the Office of Veteran Services, uh, Mr. Ryan All's office. So you get to see everyone's face. They're not like back in some corner. Uh, they're, they're right there and you, they're accessible. You can talk to them pretty much anytime you want. And uh, so it's, it's a really friendly place.